like within WhatsApp status, there are a couple of cool things you can do to give your stories a little extra glamour. I have 10 creative ideas that I want to show you guys that you can use within WhatsApp status using just the app. Okay? Also, stay until the end of the video because I have some free WhatsApp status backgrounds for you guys to use. So let's get into it. Okay, so before we get into the actual designing, I wanted to go over a couple of things within WhatsApp status. It works almost identically to Instagram stories where you post about different things throughout your day and it deletes after 24 hours. So if you click on these three dots next to your status, you will actually see all the statuses you've created throughout the day and how many views they've got. If you click on these dots next to each status, you can choose to forward, share, or delete that exact status. Then if you click on these three dots in the top right hand corner and go over to status privacy, here you can decide who you allow to see your status updates so you can customize this to be quite private, which I like. If you click on this icon at the bottom of the status, it shows all the contacts that have viewed your status. And if you want to delete the status, you just hit the trash icon and of course delete. And then there are two ways to create a status update. So you can hit that pencil icon and then just type out some text you can change the background color, you can also change the font options, and finally add an emoji or two if you want, but that's about it. The other way you can create status updates is by hitting that camera icon, and from there you can either take a quick picture or video, or choose existing images. And if you click and hold down, you can actually select multiple ones at once, and then as you can see here, you can edit each status and post them all at once, which is epic. Okay, now on to designing and the first way to jazz up your WhatsApp statuses is to use different fonts. So all you do is you type out whatever it is you want to say and then if you click and hold on this color bar and scroll to the left, as you can see the font actually changes. There are four different fonts to choose from and you'll be amazed at how nice it looks when you actually mix up the fonts. So over here I'm choosing one of the most standard ones and making a huge S and then I'm just typing Ummer <laughs> to say summer in small text and then I'm also just using the underscore symbol to create a line. I'm popping that line in between the two fonts and guys just like that it looks so epic and like I said these fonts are already in WhatsApp so definitely try out different fonts. And then here's another example for you guys. I'm using this font that's within WhatsApp but you could also download another app which is called Stylish Text and literally this is just a cool font generator. So I typed in summer, I chose my favorite font which was this one, I just selected it and pressed copy and then if you go back into WhatsApp all you need to do is select the text icon then of course just click and hold down until you select paste and it'll actually paste that really epic font that you just copied and from there you can make it big, bold, change the color. So here I copied and made another one and made it blue. I did a slight overlay so it looks like there's a drop shadow. And just like that guys, you have a really awesome looking status. But again, don't forget the fonts that already exist in WhatsApp. All right, onto special characters, and this is something we often tend to forget about, and it's if you head on over to your keyboard and go to special characters, there's actually this little square option, and you can choose that, change it into multiple different colors, just as you see me doing here, and then what I do is I just typed out the word gym with some space in between each letter, I popped it over the squares, and it looks like this took really long to make, but in actual fact it didn't, and it just spices up a status once again. So don't forget to always check out special characters, there is so much you can do with those. And once again, here's another example. This was a little bit more time consuming than the gym one, but it really does just add that extra pizzazz when making your status update. So I'm just adding each individual letter, so it says coffee. Finally, I said date, so coffee date. And just like that, I guarantee you, your statuses are gonna stand out and look so different to everyone else's. Okay, now did you know there are some emojis that actually move when you use them in WhatsApp? So all you do is you take a quick little video clip and then select the color of your choice and if you tap and hold down on the screen, it'll make a solid background just like you see here. And then you can go into the emoji section and select one of the emojis that move. So one of them is the spider. Unfortunately, not all of the emojis move for some reason. I have no idea why, but there are a select few. And the couple of emojis that do move have to be placed on a video. So just remember that. But once you're done, select 
selecting all the different emojis that you want to add. You can just pop in some text. So I'm just saying happy Halloween to go with my creepy little spiders. And just like that, your post once again is a bit extra because of the moving emojis. Some of the other emojis that move include these rose flowers. Then of course the spider, as I just showed you guys, and also the hearts. So definitely check those out guys. Now, if you didn't know, you can use video in your status update. So you can simply click and hold down and take a video. But what you can also do is actually use a pre-existing video. So if you swipe up and you go through all your media and find the video you want to post, simply select it. And then from here, you can actually customize it further. So at the top there, you can trim down the video. And the more you trim it down, you'll actually be able to create a GIF. So here I trimmed it short enough and I selected the GIF option. So now what it'll do is replay this little video like a GIF. And then on top of that, I can go and add some extra text. So this was the Note 10 launch event that I was at. And just like that, using WhatsApp status, I created a little GIF. What you can also do, however, is upload a pre-existing GIF like this one of Mr. Bean, overlay some text. So I said Mondays, then I changed the font to this one over here. It reminds me very much of a meme. And I chose another emoji that moves, which is actually this middle finger emoji, which I thought was so funny. And I also put a cheeky little face to go with that because this is a cheeky little video. And just like that, you have a really funny status update that'll make a couple of people laugh, I'm sure. Onto the brush tool and there are some really awesome things you can do with this. So if you click and swipe left, as you can see, the brush size gets bigger and smaller. And if you swipe up or down, you can actually change the color of the brush. So sometimes with the brush tool, I like to use a little stylus, but of course you can also use your finger. It works just as well. And as you can see here, guys, I just doodle on images and it gives it that little extra something something. You really don't have to be a seriously creative person in order to do this. Just literally select the brush tool, doodle on your images, and you'll honestly be amazed at what a little scribble does to your images and status updates. So again, I just added some extra text to amp it up. And here is another example for you guys where I just traced around these flapjacks. Oh, they were so good. And I said copy and paste because come on, who wouldn't want more flapjacks like these? And then what I did was I chose a little orange color and popped some dots around the syrup. And just like that, by using the brush tool, this picture is definitely way more interesting. I bet you didn't know or have ever noticed that there is actually a location tag within WhatsApp status. So first up, I'm just adding some text of my current location and then where I would be traveling to. So of course, just tailor this to what you're up to. And then I use this little pin icon to jazz it up a bit further. I use the brush tool to make a little squiggle, just as you see here. Then if you click on that icon and then click on this location tag, you can actually then search for the airport or location you're in. So in my case, it's OR Tambo International Airport. I pop that under my text and if you actually click on it, it'll change the look of this location tag, which is nice. So again, you can tailor this to how your status looks. But then what happens is when someone's viewing your status and they click on that, they can actually see the location live in their maps, which is really, really cool. And I wanted to show you guys another example. So this was at a shopping mall when I was doing some shopping. <laughs> I added this little price tag to go with the theme and I looked up the mall under the location tag, which was Mall of Africa, selected it there. And then again, when someone comes across my WhatsApp status and they click on the location tag, they can see where Mall of Africa is. Then of course, how could I create a WhatsApp video without giving you guys some freebies? So these are some awesome WhatsApp status backgrounds that I made where you can add any amount of text that you want. So this is one of the first backgrounds that I created for you guys. I created six in total and you can check them out at my website, hailsworld.com. As I mentioned, they are completely free and I think these will just help jazz up your WhatsApp statuses a little bit more. So definitely check them out and let me know in the comment section which was your favorite WhatsApp status background. If you enjoyed this video, then don't forget to like and subscribe or check out some of my other WhatsApp videos right over here and I will see you in the next one. Toodles!